Hi guys, Hello people. I'm Elena, no, no, no. and we're watching the sixth episode of The Bear. Uh, I mean, we just watched the fifth. Yes. We're continuing. Yes. It made us so hungry, we ordered food. We literally ordered <laughs> food, and I washed the meat beef, so I ordered She ordered beef sandwich. Literally, because uh, that was, that's what they were making in the last episode, you know? We're going to tell you in the seventh, how if, was it? Yeah. Because we're going to eat in between six and seven, yeah. so like we'll see if it was good, yeah. and if it yeah. wasn't. I just feel like they raised my expectations too high. Exactly. They just you didn't it so risk nicely. it. You went no, with the chicken. No, I didn't risk it. I went with the chicken. I was like, mm. I was like, you're ordering. I'm gonna try yours. So like, if yours is bad, mm, oh well. <laughs> I don't think. But what can be bad, you know? I don't think anything can be. Bad. It's a fucking sandwich, like bread and like beef. Like yeah. what can be bad, yeah. really? And cheddar and yeah. like some salad Coleslaw. and some pickles. Yeah. I think it's gonna be great. I'm getting know? hungry. I when want is it. it fucking coming? Literally. Look, like, let it come when we finish the episode and finish talking so we can, like, eat in peace. Mm, yeah. But yes, anyways, like, we're, we're continuing where we left off. Again, we're trying to make the restaurant work with no money, with everything falling apart. I don't know what's gonna break in this episode. I don't know if we're gonna, like, deal cocaine to get some money for the, for the, for the beef. I mean, not where I thought the show is gonna go. You know, I was like, uh, "This is when like I going said, Breaking I did, Bad." <laughs> yeah, when I suggested in the last episode of the, of the possibility of that, I thought, uh, I just thought, "Oh my God, you're so into the wire that yeah. you like can't think straight." You know, just like drugs everywhere. <laughs> but like apparently, well, turned out apparently it was Rich that. is on the fucking corner. You know, <laughs> and dealing drugs. Exactly. So yeah, that's fun. I'm sure we're about to find out a bit more about the brother, potentially the rest of the family. And, and the story is just gonna continue. Yes. You know what I mean? And again, thoroughly enjoyed it. Couldn't be enjoying it more. And couldn't be more excited to see what's gonna happen next. Yes. Let's so watch. Let's play the episode. I hard. like Hulu app. Let me just tell you. You do? Yeah. I'm, I'm undecided with Hulu. Really? Yeah, I'm undecided. I don't know. There's like. Oh, I like it. There is nothing bad in my opinion here. Like how you can see immediately. Second, next episode, this episode. Why can't we have First of all, there is no subtitle, so I have to pause, but I think that was his brother. Oh, really? That voice did not sound like Carmi. Sounds off. See, sounds see I told you I had like a thing with Hulu. <laughs> this is what I mean. Take it back. <laughs> Honestly, I feel like that was his brother. So that is like, that we, like we're just getting serious now, you know what I mean? I was not prepared for that. Me neither at all. Listen again. I mean, there's, there's, there's no tattoos or some kind. Oh, oh. Michael was there. Yeah, but uh, Carmi is there as well. Yeah, that's what I want to say. What? What just happened? Who's named after someone's jealousy were invited, huh? Uh, I would not have gone. You would have fucking gone. Hey, Carmen, go to the bar. Yeah, I got you. I got you. I am so shocked. I can't even. I can't. The Koreans was facing towards the east, and that's because all the trading had just moved to the Midwest. So try to tell the story. I am too shocked. So anyway, not only was it not a ghost town, it was a fucking Like, mom always had it. It was fucking packed. It was just like, whoo, right? All fucking Blackhawk fans and cousin who's there. Sammy. Oh, no, dude, no, 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 it's just getting louder and louder and louder. <laughs> Somehow with all the taffy and all the fucking nonsense, with all the fucking olive blue. Yeah. We hear this fucking voice ring out, and the voice says, What are you doing? And right in front of us, this guy, he turns around. Who was it? Bill Murray! Bill Murray! Oh, 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 oh! That is not funny. He goes, Give me your phone. Yeah. Yep. And then he goes, <laughs> What's your name? Right? What if Bill Murray sure. says it to me? Fucking Bill Murray! Yeah, no, I understand who that is. If you call me, you can hear it. You guys were at a bar at 6.45 in the morning? Yeah, but I... The, the whole point of it is... That... Oh, this is his episode. I don't know why I was so shocked. <laughs> He's playing like literally. But I, thought I just I saw... didn't imagine Michael like that. I thought I saw in the beef there's like pictures of actors. I thought I saw Bill Murray. That's what okay, I think that is. That's nice size. She doesn't have any size. This is a human, you know? Even worse, too. I'll tell you, she's actually much worse. It's like she got no. 
two hours to open, chefs. So they open at three. I'm thinking about it, so hold on, please, okay? Two, I know everybody you used to work for, I called them for hiring. Because your resume is excellent, this place is not. Hmm. Everybody said you are incredibly smart, you are incredibly talented, they also said you are incredibly impatient. <laughs> so what are you saying? I'm saying give me a minute. <laughs> yeah. I've finally gotten this to a place where things are sort of, kind of, a little bit chill. I would like to hold on to that as long as I possibly can. <laughs> And there we go. You know, there's something called the Internal Revenue Service, and they collect taxes for the VAs. Yeah, and the people in this place, they haven't given that government organization anything in five years. And somehow, I'm a co-owner in this nightmare, and my home will be seized if I don't give them some money. Okay, so I How does this the last few days on top of my other job and my life, so I'm gonna need you to go in there and take up the payroll records from 2018. Can you do that for me, please? Okay. Fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> Why the hell do you organize it like this? I don't know. I'll ask him when he's not dead. Now seeing them with his bro with their brother made it even more somehow real. Yeah. That he's dead. How different they all like function yeah. all together. Figuring out places to stay. Bro, oh, I'm not homeless. And what's up with the nest? Oh, I just started sleeping here so I could save time on my commute. I'm just so close to knowing these donuts that I'd be perfect. <laughs> okay, so you're a psychopath. <laughs> just want them to be perfect. I he was cute. He was offering help. Yeah. It was weird out there. Bar closed. You live there a lot? Nah. Wonder and I don't like see eye to eye. They all suck now. That's why I keep telling you guys stop fucking with this place. Hmm. You know, you let up a little bit, everything changes. You know, you don't realize this is a delicate ecosystem. And it's held together by a shared history and love and respect. There's this statue on top of the board of trade. Goddess. Right? When we put it up there, it was the tallest building in the city, and no one really going to see her face, so we didn't bother to put one. But now, every goddamn building is taller than the next one, and they all just look out at this chick with no face, and it's just. What the fuck? Fucking kidding me? Good? Yeah. Motherfucker. Everybody okay? Yeah? Oh, they just did this too well. They did this too well! You just got shot at. Is this the drug thing? Hey yo! Crooked John. Mm -hmm. What's up? You guys see me shot out my window? I didn't see it, man. It scared the shit out of me, though. Listen, man. You know, you guys aren't supposed to be hanging out here. I asked you to hang out down there. Mm -hmm. Don't call the cops. Yeah, don't hurt my feelings. How long you know me? Alright, I do not give a fuck what you do or who you do with. All I ask is you do it over there and, you know, keep it at a reasonable volume. Well, we can't chill over there, man. Why can't you chill over there? It's dangerous. Do me a favor, okay? Ask around, see if you can sniff out who shot up my shit. Check Alice. All right. All right. In exchange, you guys can hang out here, but low pro. All right. All right. Respect. All right. Wow, I love coming here. Sure. <laughs> like, how does this keep happening to them? Okay. How does it always something? Should we call the cops? No. 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 <laughs> I know. Stay after me. Sugar. <laughs> Don't co sign for a drug ad. Keep not processing trauma cards. Dude, what? Huh. I can't close. Yeah, just keep working. It's like nothing ever happened. A window got shot out. Everybody is fine. The end. Because that's what I'm talking about. Natalie. Carmi. You're pissing me off. Well, you're pissing me off. Did you find uh, sugars? Whatever. No, I didn't find it. Paperwork's not really my jam. <laughs> me neither. What is that, oven? <laughs> No, it was um, Michael's 15th birthday party. Uh -huh. Beyond Carlo and Fat got into a fight. I tried to break it up and phone to the barbecue. Is there a name for that thing where uh, you're afraid of something good happening because you think something bad's going to happen? Hmm. Life. <laughs> the other night my kid asked me if my real last name is Bad News. I guess I'm in her mom's phone. It's Richie Bad News. 
Tiff, what the fuck? You know? She says I'm contagious. I only call it bad news. At least someone's trying. Yeah, at least so. At least this boy is good. I mean, is he not taking showers? Sure. But like, that's the least of my problems. Alright, let me out of my misery. Let me tea. Hey, look alive, chefs! Be open! Alright, <laughs> come on, step like this. Let me get one beef, a hot little sweet, dip it! <laughs> but like, they have people waiting in line until they open, you know what I mean? I think they have ca regular. So, so happy, so, so excited. So coming. I did, like, it's not gonna be as good as this, but like, it's fine. It's fine. Yes. Thank you for asking. Oh, looks good. It's tremendous, chef. Thank you, chef. The sauce is a little bit tight. Yeah, it's hurt. Maybe we start rolling it out as a special soon to a place. Yeah, close enough, yeah. How, how close? I told you it was great. Yeah, she said tremendous. You remember? I didn't tell you it was perfect. Well, yeah, I mean, the sauce, it's just, you know, it's I don't understand. Chef, it's not ready yet. It's fine, girl. Hi, um, these are cola gray short nips with risotto. And they're yours. Really? Yep, I had an extra. And I'm sitting if you need anything else. <laughs> Thank you, Sydney. <laughs> Have a good day. Rob, well, what are you gonna find? You're gonna find something that maybe you were not thinking Supposed. you were gonna find. Oh, he still hasn't fast seen the message. Oh, yeah, that? I was about to say, but like, it's not. Pills? I knew it was down with my sign. I would have done the same thing. You want to fight? Please. <laughs> I know you're mad at me. This is just irresponsible. No, 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 no. I mean at your house. All the stuff you said. I think the thing that just pisses me off, the thing that I'm probably too embarrassed to admit, is that you never ask me how I'm doing. I know it's childish, but that's why I'm mad at you. Plus, we never spend any real time together. This place is eating you alive. You always blame this place. What do you mean? I mean, you blame the restaurant, right? You don't blame mom. You don't blame Mikey. How can I not blame this place? I just cleaned up shot out glass and now I'm covered in carbon. All of our time, money, work gets sucked up into this place. Sounds like mom. I'm serious. I'm serious. I just want things to be calm. I just want things to be on solid ground. I, I, I want things to feel... Consistent. Yeah. That's totally reasonable. I appreciate you saying that. I guess all the time I feel like I'm kind of trapped because I can't describe it, how I'm feeling. So to ask somebody else how they're feeling, it just seems, uh, I don't know, insane. <laughs> you're right, I want to know how you're feeling. How are you feeling? Really good. Just great. <laughs> Yo. Yo, is this it? Yeah. yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just shit. <laughs> oh, shit! What are you doing? No! He's not just shit. Gotta be cleaner than that. Snap is shit. Okay, well, you gotta sharpen the glasses. Where's my gun? And you motherfuckers take my gun! Bitchy! What the fuck do you mean what's going on? What is happening? Uh, Richard's gonna pass by, uh, by her with a gun. Please! Girl, that's so bold of you. Literally so bold. I cannot imagine the worst person hold a gun. Look at him. I can't. Look at him. See how he's gonna be. See, my girl sold it with food. 
the with death food. Rain, no, no smoking, where all the food is. You know what I mean. All right? Okay. Cool. All right. Cool. Okay, so we good? <laughs> so he was looking for a fucking guy. Well, this fucking cool. He pulls up again, right? Now, this is the third stop I write. He starts to grab it. No one has an option not to listen to him. Okay, okay. Richie, I need to unregister. Richie! 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 You remember, this place used to be cool. Yeah. Like, you need to go home. What? You need to... What? You need to get out of here. You are fucking my shit up. I feel like I'm on a different fucking planet right now. My, my game has improved 300% in two months. This this place is, is organized <laughs> and, and and clean and, and smooth and... Yo, I love my kid. You know how much I love that kid. This is real and alive. They're kids, you know? She doesn't understand. She's a baby, you know? Walking around thinking that she can handle shit. This is a delicate fucking ecosystem. I'm gonna quit. Quit? Now where are you gonna go, Richie? <laughs> That's so sad. All right, let's 86 the ravioli, please, Jess. 86 ravioli. I love it so much. <laughs> Let's see what's happening. Where's our food yeah. though? We're arriving in seven minutes. Let's go, people! We can eat in seven minutes. Okay. We ate, we guys. We the food came. Like in maybe we're not gonna be little, hungry watching next one. A little early. And all I can tell you, it was great. Yes. Maybe not. What? It wasn't beef. And not beef. Maybe it wasn't like in, in the bear, you know? Yes. I mean, beef is a restaurant. Beef is the restaurant. Okay. Okay. Maybe it wasn't like in the beef. Yeah, sure. beef or whatever. Yeah, <laughs> but like it was great. I enjoyed it. I loved it. And that was the most important thing. And now I guess we can watch episode seven without like drooling. Yes, but first let's talk a bit about episode six. <gasps> so good. Uh, so good. Really love this episode. Yes, it was like many things in it. Mm, it was a bit more about Richie than others. Yeah, let let's just talk about the elephant in the room. <laughs> Which is who is the actor playing? Michael? Oh my god, that took me. I was off shocked. Of it. I was fucking shocked. I don't know why I was so shocked, but like I was so shocked. First of all, like I said, I have a feeling like now when I know when I put a name to a face, a person who we've been, we've been talking about for so long. Uh, but like somehow now when I know who it is, when I saw a, one scene of their dynamic, when I saw how he talks and stuff like that, like just like makes me even more compassionate with them. all of them. Yeah, because like now he feels like a real person to us as yeah. well. Yeah. Like now we finally see him, like there is a face to put to the name. Mm. And like we've seen a scene of them all and like how they function and mm. how they were like, you know, kind of happy making jokes and now they're all like bickering and arguing most of the time. But you have no idea just because of that, like now, because like that is the person who connects all of them. Yeah. You have no idea how much I'm gonna love all of their relationships, mm -hmm. both with Carmi and Sugar mm -hmm. and also Ricky amongst them that Carmi is not a fan of at all. <laughs> just like I have a feeling I'm gonna love them. Yeah. Um, Richie, Richie. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I think it's a done deal. I heard you, but I was like, I'm not gonna correct you. <laughs> I'm just like, let it fucking go. Doesn't matter. Everyone else we're talking about. We started again the episode with him, and it was a lot of it to do with him being sort of stuck in the way that things were. Like he is seeing 
the bar that's next door is closing down like mm-hmm. someone else is taking over the restaurant like so many things are changing mm-hmm. and he's trying to like keep them as they are because like he has uh, lost his best friend and like he is trying to find anything to hold on to so that things wouldn't change because like everything is different now but like he would have to if he accepts this and he accepts these changes then he would have to accept that like Michael is gone and that things are gonna be different now and like he is not I mean he was not prepared for that he was not prepared to do that which is why he has always been like for the past six episodes he has like been making dumb jokes and sort of saying like saying like things stay the same don't fuck with the system the system works I mean all of the yeah and all of the dumb decisions that he he's been made making in the past yeah. Six episodes, all of that are, is connected to the fact that he can accept. Yeah, I mean, he uh, is grieving. <laughs> exactly. Like, he is grieving, you know. He does things that are, like, asshole But, like, he is going through things. Much exactly. like Carmi is going through things Just as well. Just, like, different ways. Yeah, absolutely. But, like, he is still, like, grieving someone, exactly. you know. And, like, this is his... This is sort of his way, which is, like, seems very understand Exce- yeah expected like he's trying to keep things the same so they wouldn't have to like accept these changes and like so many things are changing like there is no michael and like i guess he recently divorced or at least is separated from his wife and everything and so he is very much stuck in the um, in the past like we had this like scene in the beginning where michael is telling this sto- story and we cut to him telling that same story yeah. to his date which is like again sort of living in the living in the past like you know your good days and everything and like when michael was alive and so like that's very it's very sad he is going through he is going through things so like any time that he is being an asshole most of those times are just like can be understandable like should she should he tell uh, Sydney to shut the fuck up no she he shouldn't like absolutely not but but like I understand because yeah. like, to him Sydney is a child yeah. who came here and is now ordering and changing things yeah. in his best friend's restaurant yeah who is that yeah and like every single thing that like actually happens comes back to the same thing to him grieving his best friend yeah and that's it like I, I think the way he is reacting is probably the most understandable one mm-hmm. yeah. of them all, honestly. Uh, but I love what Tina told him. <clears throat> Tina was so good. Yeah. Tina is a joy. Yeah. Um, she basically said, like, you know how much I love Mike as well, but, like, this place now works. It's good. Like, I am getting so much better. And, like, it makes her excited the way that these things function. As she can now see she- them vision of what this can yeah. be and she and, has accepted it yeah because she or she also sees changes it like take it took her a time as well to accept these new i mean not leaders but like uh chefs uh, who are now above her now when she sees how respectable they are to her and yeah. how uh the pl- much the place is getting better she yeah. said everything is clean now like yeah. it wasn't like that before my uh, before michael before uh carmi came yeah uh, so yeah, I think she now completely accepted it, and she loves uh, how it is now. And she just told him that he needs to accept it as well. Yeah, and he sort of did there at the end. Yeah. I mean, that is what changed uh, his mind because, like, like, like we we did see rest uh, bar closing, but like we also saw him talking to some guys there. Yeah, like drug dealers. Exactly, and he let them be there on the corner, their corner in front of their restaurant, even though that would affect the restaurant. Yeah. You know, because drugs are being dealt in front of it, you know? Yeah. Uh, So, of course, that would scare the customers, Mm -hmm. especially because in that same morning, a gunshot, someone shot shot at the restaurant. Yeah. A gunshot went through the window, you know? Yeah. So, uh, like, that, he, like, he should definitely not allow them to do that, but he did. Yeah. You know? Because and again, that's how it's always been. It's how it's always like been they have Michael always stand, that, yeah. they have always stood on this corner and basically yeah. like dealt drugs and like he he said like what am I can't I'm not gonna call the cops on you like who do you think I am? But like at the end he did call the cops on them yeah. because like he sort of accepted that like if this place is gonna work, like things do have to change and so like he just 
call the cops. And, and this then... is what would make restaurant a better place. Well, yeah, I mean, like, possibly. you can't have, you cannot have drug dealing taking yeah. place in front of your fucking door. You I know mean, what we, I mean? Like, we it's not gonna work. We saw during the yeah. uh, episode. Uh, Altercation. I mean, uh, exactly, and how Sydney uh, later dealt with it in different ways that, like, uh, completely different ways that Rick Rich would uh, deal with it. He immediately yeah. went for a gun, yeah. you know, yeah. where Sydney came there, talked to them, introduced herself, <laughs> and gave them leftovers yeah. to eat, like Can sandwiches. I, just say, I then, loved Tina. She, yeah. Sydney was going, Tina's going after her. Yeah. <laughs> like standing there, sort yeah. of like, let's, she loves her. I mean, Tina not, loves in, not a, even in that scene, we also had a scene where Richie threw something yeah. basically at her, and Tina immediately stepped yeah. in and wanted no, to protect Tina Sydney. Literally, she's the person when she loves you, yeah. she <laughs> is gonna kill for you. Yeah. And I'm gonna love her. Me too. I'm gonna love Me her too. relationship with Sydney. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, like mm-hmm. by the end, I think he has now sort of. I think so as well. Started to accept and we that all least. only have two episodes by uh, until the end, and we already so see same, uh, yeah. changes, uh, which just makes me happy. I, I definitely think in the in the last episode, the woman's gonna come and give us a better grade and yeah. see. You know, I, like I definitely think that is also that what's gonna so happen. Nice. I'm, I'm gonna be so happy. Me too. I'm gonna cry. Literally, <laughs> like that's gonna be so nice. Um, but like, yeah, the place is getting better. Even though in this episode we also found out that like half of the place belongs to a sugar. Yeah. And that she's responsible for it, and like because it's in debts, nobody paid taxes for yeah. it, and now people want want to. Uh, take her house. Yeah, you know. So like, uh, the, she was looking for some of the like, documentation so that like she would find a way to make it like, pay less. Like yeah, that's, that's make it a bit cheaper. But like still, they need to like pay that. I don't like in season twenty five. We're gonna start making profit. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> by then, I think we're gonna have to pay off God knows what, because like not paying taxes for five years. Or it's not five. It's two thousand twenty two. It for them. Oh, well, like four. I think they even better. said five. No. Did they? In my mind, I think they, the sugar said five. Okay. But, like, still, like, they need to pay that as well. There's a lot of things. Like, the, the place is, you know, barely holding on, but it's getting better. Like, they had this, like, by the end, they were, like, Sydney was giving out the, the orders and everything, and things were functioning, and was answering. Like, things were going much smoother. And, like, she was, uh, she was trying to get a new meal, basically, in. Carmi said that the meal is not ready and she like took it very personally. I like, I think it's fine, you know, Carmi said like it's not ready, but like the way that she takes things is sort of personal because she failed at her like catering job. And so like when Carmi said that he called every single one of her employees because like she is very talented and capable and like this place is not good. So like, why are you coming to work here? And like, they all told that she is an incredible chef but that she is like impatient and like that's what he told her and she immediately took that as him saying so like that's where you're saying my business didn't work you know because like yeah. that's the insecurities that she feels um, even though like Carmi meant nothing bad by it nor that like, does he mean anything bad when he tells her like a dish is not ready yet or anything She's, like that he said it's not perfect yeah she, she, he said it's yeah. tremendous and he's, like... and he's a perfectionist he is yeah. really a perfectionist and so just like for her it's also a process of learning to deal with that you know because yeah. like she has that type of a like, let's say problem like we see yeah. that she doesn't sleep she's a very over consumed by it yeah. you know but I love her yeah. and I love that and I love again I always love the way that they Carmi at the beginning was like a bit dismissive because of the but whole later, yeah, yeah it's because like everything is so, it's I mean it's very fucking fast everything is happening he doesn't have time all the time and so like by the end you know she found time to ask him do you maybe have time he's like yes thank you for asking I have time now and like they always ended off on a good healthy I think note I mean even at the end he apologized for being let's say yeah. rude to her yeah and she said that she's fine with it it's okay also like that's what I think this show does really nicely that like I don't I don't think I have seen all like in many shows always like the characters do talk and yeah. they talk about things and about problems and how they feel I yeah. have a feeling like that's a rarity like like I don't see that very often I mean in uh, every like, episode Carmi goes outside and Sits talks with someone. With, thinks he talks with someone. <laughs> Even in this episode, I think he talked with Richie as well. Yeah, like, like, the last episode of Mark. The yeah. episode before that. Uh, but Sydney. like, he also had a nice conversation with uh, Sugar here, where he basically, wa- while she was nervous and uh, stuff like that, he asked her if, uh, if she wants to fight. 
Yeah. And then they started talking and uh, she told him that he, she's mad at him. And the reason why she's mad at him is because she, he never calls her and asks her how she's doing. Yeah. And that's like she said, like, I think that's childish. I know, but like, that's what I need from you. Yeah. And uh, later he apologized and said that like the reason why he didn't, doesn't know because he's not good either. You know? Yeah, like he doesn't then, know, like it, when someone asks him, how are you feeling? He doesn't know. He said like that, I don't know what to say. Like, I don't know how to explain yeah. the way that I feel. And so like asking someone else how they feel sounds ridiculous. Yeah. I thought it was like a really, you know, it was a good enough answer for, yeah. for, why he um, doesn't call yeah, that. for sugar to just like, understand like she really needs a little you know she just wants to feel like that she's not in this alone as well that like someone else is also going through things Mm. and so i just i really enjoyed i really enjoyed their scene yeah me too marcus is now sleeping (laughs) in the kitchen marcus is honestly very devoted very devoted to I can't wait to being a see what, chef. He, uh, what, because, a what he made because like so far we haven't seen, really seen that we have seen that he is literally making a perfect recipe in his yeah. mind and that he is literally putting bits and pieces and trying exploring things yeah, like seeing uh, what's what works best what exactly so like I think that's for next two episodes maybe even the last one for him to show us and like the every, perfect the perfect, perfect yeah, that dessert and I think everybody's gonna love, love it no honestly I just like I can't wait to see last two episodes just because and like, like Sydney might finally perfect the dish I think and she Carmi's will and gonna yeah. say that's great. That's great. That's perfect. 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 That's what he uh, he needs to say. So yeah, that's 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 what I'm the most excited about. Me See too. how the rest is gonna get better and better. You know. Me too. Okay, guys, we don't have much time. Let's play the episode. <laughs> we want to finish last two episodes today. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye bye. Bye.